Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. I hope today has been treating you well. In today's video, I am so excited. I have literally just taken delivery of the new Beauty Bay collection. I'm so excited. So this whole collection came with a 20 pan eyeshadow palette, a nine pan eyeshadow palette and a lip set plump and shine lip duo i think today i'm just going to be getting into the bigger eyeshadow palette because oh that little one <laughs> that i nearly dropped on the floor the little one is all like special shades and i assume shimmers and duochromes i don't think there's going to be any multi-chromes in this just given the price but I think I want to save this for like its own video. You can buy these separately or it comes in a bundle with all of these options. So I think I'm going to put this to one side and use this another day. But this, this is the star of the show for me. I am so excited about this eyeshadow palette. I have been wanting an eyeshadow palette like this from Beauty Bay for the longest time with these like jewel tones, the deeper, the rich tones. And when I tell you, <laughs> as soon as they started sneak peeking this, I was like, I know that this is going to be my new favorite Beauty Bay eyeshadow palette because I've been asking for this color story, <laughs> not asking Beauty Bay, just asking, you know, the universe for this colour story from Beauty Bay for the longest time. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Look at it. <laughs> Look at it. I am so excited to dive into swatching this. Now I will say, when I first opened this up, I was a little bit surprised by some of the shades. The pictures that Beauty Bay put up on their Instagram and on the website. This shade over here, which is called Zodiac, looked like a teal, like the perfect dark still, but very much a teal. And I would say that that is like not far off a black. Like it's so, so dark. It's definitely darker in real life, I feel like, than it looks on the website and the pictures that they put up on Instagram. I'm not mad at that because <laughs> I love dark, smoky, rich, deep tones like this. But just bear that in mind that this is quite dark. But if you're getting the bundle, these are very light. So I feel like between the two, it does sort of balance out where I don't feel like there's very many light shimmer shades in the larger palette but of course you've got a nine pound palette that's just light shimmer shades can't say that fast so i am going to get into swatches and then i'm going to create some sort of eye look i think i know what i want to do which literally never happens but i think we're just going to use the celestial charms eyeshadow palette today and I'm so excited. Let me zoom you in and we can do some swatches. <laughs> so one last close up before I dig my finger into all of these shades and completely wreck them. <laughs> but obviously like 20 pan palettes, I feel like in these ones from Beauty Bay anyway, you get a really good selection of shimmers to mattes. It's not too shimmer heavy, not too matte heavy. I feel like they always get it really right in the 20 pan palettes. I always love these. The The formula is what we know and love. I, I'm certain of it. But I just think the colour story in these palettes, they always just get so, so right. And I am so excited. I almost don't even... I almost don't even want to swatch this because I don't want to ruin it because it's so beautiful. But then I'm like, let's swatch. <laughs> so all I have on my arm is a little bit of moisturiser. I'm a dry skin gal. So let's just 
let's just start. So we have got Orb, which looks like sort of a topper shade, like a white to pink shift, but quite sheer. Then we have got Prophecy. Woo hoo, that is pigmented. So this is like a dusky, mauve, light purpley sort of a shade. Beautiful, beautiful and pigmented. Then we have got Stardust, which is a golden shimmer, almost like a foil though, very, very smooth. Very, very smooth and almost, I feel like that's got like a little bit of like a rose goldy tint to it, where I feel like that's got a little bit of a pink undertone. Beautiful. Then the next three are all matte. Look at that colour. That colour is insanely beautiful. That one is Andromia. <laughs> not very good at pronouncing names but that's almost like a fuchsia very very vibrant i love that then we have got omen which i do believe is a matte oh now i'm not sure i was about to say a matte black but now i'm looking at that i feel like where that is sort of blending out towards the edge there is that like the darkest purple rather than a black either way <laughs> very very beautiful I always like having a very, very deep shade like that in a palette. Then we have got Zodiac. So this is the one that I was saying I thought in the pictures it looked more like a teal. Yeah, see, I, I am so happy with that shade. In the pan, that looked, like I was saying, almost black. Do forgive my swatches. <laughs> I'm not a professional. Let me just go over that one a little bit because I have completely messed up that swatch i love that shade i i love teal teal is my favorite <laughs> and that is beautiful gosh my swatches i mean i could apologize but what were you expecting <laughs> then this next shade which is called aura i didn't see any swatches online i didn't see on the instagram or on the website, they didn't have any pictures of that one swatched. But I think, I think that that's a duochrome. Like the way that that's catching the light and going like golden. I think that that's a duochrome. Why would they not swatch that online? That shade is beautiful. And again, so rich and so smooth. That's really, really pretty. Then we have got Lyra, which is a matte. And this is like purple. It's not, um, it's not too plummy and it's not too blue. It is just a straight up matte purple. And oh, I'm gonna apologize for the swatches again, but because I've got um, a bit of moisturizer on my skin, I do feel like that is grabbing because of the moisturizer. <laughs> if you tried Beauty Bay's formula before, you know the formula you you will know the formula so then we have got another shimmer and this one is called stella and again so smooth so smooth so pigmented and again that one's got that one's got a little bit of something hasn't it where that's catching the light it's very hard for me to do swatches and like get them to catch in the light because I have so many like studio lights and everything up it's deep it's dark but it's got a little something to it that Stella shade we like her then next up we have got Equinox which actually looks just very similar to Lyra did we need both of these I'm not I'm not sure we needed both both very pretty but I feel like you maybe could have had something a little bit different in there like they look pretty much exactly the same oh gosh I need to <laughs> I 
I need to learn how to do swatches. Um, then we have got Astral. <laughs> I'm very excited about this one. Let me get real close. Yeah, yep, 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 yeah. yep, yep, yep. No words, just yeah. So that, again, I feel like it's got a little bit of something to it where when it's not catching the light there, when it's not catching the light, that's almost just like a grey black, but then it's got like teal glitters in it, but not chunky, smooth but reflective and deep and rich. All of the things that I love. So then we have got Oracle and this one is more of a red, purple. I wouldn't go as far as to say burgundy, but definitely sort of getting that way on the purple scale. We're getting there. Again, very, very dark, very deep and rich. The, a beautiful, beautiful shade if you've got blue eyes. Then we have got Galaxy, and I am going to have to like swatch these quite close together because I am running out of arm. <laughs> but Galaxy, which is like a light, dusky blue, but then when it catches the light, it's got a little pink and silver reflets in it. Again, a very, very special shade. The sort of shade that I could just use all over my lid and call it a day. Then we have got Luna, which is the same colour as my skin tone. <laughs> but I feel like, you know, it's something to help blend out some of the other shades. A very, very useful shade to have. Then we have got Cosmos, which is a darker not navy blue it's got a little bit of a purpley would you say that that i was completely out of frame there would you say that that is like an indigo again it's got a purple to it very very unique shade i do feel like beauty bay always gets these unique shades just so right then on to the last row we have got another matte and this one is called Orion and I feel like this one brings something different to the table rather than like these purples this one is deeper this one is more red tone it's different I'm, I'm a little bit annoyed about these ones but beautiful and <laughs> the moisturizer I don't think made it all the way down to my elbow. I didn't think that these swatches were going to go on that far. <laughs> but that one is Orion. Then we have Comet. And this is a really unique shade again. So smooth. So, so smooth. It's like a burnt orange. Again, these like warm orangey tones are always going to look incredible on blue eyes. And I feel like there's no glitter in that. It's a foil. There's no shimmer. Beautiful and smooth. Then we have got Solstice. I'm gonna have to get creative down here. We've got Solstice, which in the pan is like a matte with glitters in it. Which again is beautiful and deep. My arm is starting to go numb. <laughs> Beautiful and deep. I don't feel like that one is necessarily showing up too much on the camera, but beautiful. Sort of like a smoky wing. Say less. And then right down here on my actual elbow, we have got Crescent which in the pan just looks like a baby pink shimmer, but again, I feel like when that is like catching the light and then not catching the light, that definitely has almost a warmth to it that I feel like is going with this orangey one. But when it's catching the light, it's very, very blinding and like pink. And then the last shade is Cassiopeia question mark <laughs> this one is a matte 
and I've completely run out of room <laughs> on my arm. Okay. <laughs> Have I ever had to swatch an eyeshadow actually on my elbow bone before? So this is, let's get it all in frame. This is the full colour story. Beautiful. Oh, I just, I, I personally feel very inspired looking at all of these shades. I wish that this was a tiny little bit more teal and less dark and I wish that they had just chosen either one of these but other than that I love I love that colour story and I think I know what I want to do which like I say this never happens so I think what I want to do is use that teal through the crease on the outer corner, blend it out maybe with one of the like more purpley neutrally tones, blend it out, do a cut crease, do a purple, something like that. Teal and purple, I love teal and purple together so I think that's what I want to do. So I'm going to start with like a flat brush, I do already have the Beauty Bay eye base on across my eyelids and I have also done my brows and I have these like eye patch things on that are the revolution ones that I always wear um so I'm going to start with a sort of flat fluffy brush and I'm going to dip into that zodiac shade I'm going straight in <laughs> going straight in <sighs> I can't resist so I've literally just dipped into that once and I'm going to Dump this into the crease on the outer half. She is a, a pigmented. Okay, I think I have enough on my brush there to do both sides. Wowzers. So I'm taking like basically the tiniest pencil brush that I can find and I'm going to really deepen that in the crease like properly pack that on yeah that is working much better for me so really really intensifying that colour through the crease and I'm also like dragging that down onto the lid on the outer corner and if you haven't seen my channel before then hello my name is Millie, I never know what I'm doing. I make this whole thing up as I go along. I don't know what I'm doing, I don't have any sort of makeup training. <laughs> My training is the school of YouTube. <laughs> Figuring this out as I go along and never knowing what the end goal is, basically. Just just having fun just having a little bit of fun so now I'm just gonna blend out the edges a little bit with that first brush and that is working much better for me and if you are new here and my excitement over a teal eyeshadow hasn't completely put you off yet I'd love it if you would subscribe down below I am posting every single day in the month of October because why not? I love autumn makeup, I love creative autumn makeup looks so this month there is 31 videos obviously we are not even a week in yet so there's lots more to come and I would love it if you would join us we're, we're a good lot here we are we are good eggs <laughs> And by we, I obviously mean my lovely subscribers. <laughs> They're good eggs. Okay, so I feel like I have built that up and blended that out quite nicely. Obviously, this is all just that one shade. So I'm just quickly going to go in with a clean brush into that Luna shade that I said was the same colour as my skin tone. And I'm just going to tickle over the very top edge. I'm not worried about any of this because I'm going to clean that up. But I am just going to tickle over 
that area just to help that blend in a little bit and I did just deepen up that a little bit more on the outer corner but I do feel like that Luna shade Luna yes Luna doubting myself there I do feel like that Luna shade has helped that blend beautifully like it's a blue and blues generally are quite hard to formulate and quite hard to get to blend beauty bay are like we don't see the issue what issue so i'm gonna go in with a clean fluffy brush and i'm gonna go in to let's go into prophecy this one on the top row and just right on the end of more of like a tapered fluffy brush i'm going to work that into whoa work that into the inner part of the crease <sighs> the pigment surprised me again it shouldn't have done but it did and again I feel like just tickling that shade ever so lightly in between like the blue and where there isn't any where I use that lunar shade to blend that out it's almost like the shade in between my skin tone and the blue so again it's just helping to blend but it's also deepening it up adding a bit of something you know so i at this stage i'm gonna go back in with that fluffy brush that i was using the luna no let's use a clean one <laughs> and go back in with more of that luna shade and again blend and then I think I'm going to go off I'm going to use some micellar water to like cut the crease in there because I want that to be quite sharp I feel like I maybe need to deepen still absolutely deciding what I'm doing let's deepen up with that zodiac shade right through there so adding that depth right into the crease we've just gone from like 50% smoky to this I'm not mad are you um and then I'm just taking another sort of tapered flat brush going back into that prophecy shade and blending okay so i did just spend a little bit of time there tapping some in blending it out creating a a bit of a gradient <laughs> granted i'm not the best at blending um and also like deepening that up like right on the outer sort of corner so I'm gonna go ahead and use some micellar water on a cotton bud to clean up this area make this area sharp use some more of that eye base and then we can pack something like across the lid that's a little bit brighter and like finish off the lid a little bit but smoky and deep and blending absolutely also my battery is dying so if i jump when it comes to the next clip you know why so crease is cut with some more of the beauty bay eye base like i say i apologize if you just moved a little bit i don't know what it is with my batteries they last about 30 minutes surely they should last longer than that I don't know but they don't so I what do I want I want something bright but I also want something a little bit shimmery I'm immediately drawn to this shade because it's sort of very much brighter and very different to like what we've got in the crease that I've just noticed isn't very well blended <laughs> there's a surprise um but then i'm like i want a shimmer but then maybe we could use a shimmer 
on the inner corner. What about? Oh, I just don't know what I want. Maybe this one with a bit of this tapped over it. We, we can only try. So I need a clean brush <laughs> or one that's at least sort of stained, you know, the colour that we're going for. Wiping that off on the blanket that I've got across my leg, going into Andromia, really loading that up on there. And this is still very much tacky across the lid here. So, oh, that colour is beautiful yeah i love that andromia shade that is so pigmented i'm very very glad that i'm doing my eyes first <laughs> the contrast between those two shades but also i feel like you know with a little bit of work i can get those to sort of blend across the lid there so very very carefully with that brush taking it up to that line that I created with the eyeshadow base and really just packing that shade on okay so I have just sort of gone backwards and forwards a little bit in between getting distracted now i have just gone backwards and forwards between those two shades to like blend them out here and i feel like they have blended beautifully <sighs> i don't know what shimmer i want to use do i want to go into this little palette no i don't think i do i want to try and use something out of here let's go into i feel like i want to lighten it up a bit I know it's very very dark I want to go into that crescent shade this one down here and I think do I use my finger or do I use a brush let's use a brush <laughs> let's not be silly now I'm going to use a brush and just pick up a little bit of that and I'm gonna tap this ever so lightly over that pinky purple shade Ooh, that's like dispersing really nicely I do just want to try and pack that on with my finger yes that's working really nicely okay give me a minute to just fiddle with this I'm absolutely covered <laughs> in eyeshadow that's exactly how I want to be I'm not mad <laughs> okay so as suspected I um <laughs> I went too far <laughs> and I went past the crease with that shimmer I'm not mad I'm not mad I do want to try that teal shimmer on the outer half again to like help blend oh that teal shade is beautiful that teal shade is so pretty yeah yeah love that too <laughs> so I'm just going back in with that brush with crescent on it tapping over that and I think I was about to say before I go too far I'm very aware that I have already gone too far <laughs> but before I go completely too far I am gonna go off I'm gonna clean this up I'm gonna sharpen this up I'm probably gonna add a wing I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then we can come back and do something under the eyes I'm thinking I might do something a bit more purpley under the eyes to like tie it in with the purple on the lid I will do the rest of my face and then I will be back to do that together <laughs> okay so I have just gone ahead and added a lash 
which instantly makes this feel I mean it was already going to be very glam but I've added a lash now which I feel like covers up quite a lot of that purple but something about adding a lash just does it for me I do feel like I need a little bit more blush um, I, I basically just used all of the products out of my project pan um, which I haven't given you an update for yet this month I have filmed it you haven't seen it yet so surprise surprise this is the blush that is in the project 10 uses whatever it is that I am doing at the minute and let's add eyeshadow under the eyes and like I say I think I want something more purple like instantly I'm drawn to just the same shade that I used on the lid that Andromia so I'm gonna take some of that and stamp that all the way along the lower lash line so I feel like that will bring in Oof that brings in that shade from the lid. I know I really should be trying to use more shades, you know, to see how they are, but also I wanna love my makeup look, so <laughs> I'm just doing what I wanna do. So I am also like tapping that shade basically uh, onto my temple to really blend that out and smoke it out you know really drag that color out because i just think there's something incredible about that pinky purpley undertone i love that so i want something on the inner corner I think it's got to be orb it's got to be this shade up here because this is the one that I use like across the lid and I don't feel like that's bright enough for the inner corner for me you know how I feel about a nice bright inner corner so taking that orb shade and packing that Ooh. right onto that inner corner and I'm just going to blend that in along the lower lash line onto that pink and I'm also going to like tap that on the first little first little bit of that inner corner on the lid I really really like that shade as well and the way that that is like reflecting a little bit pinky purpley sort of ties everything in I am thrilled <laughs> I am thrilled so I just want a little bit of just the same mascara that I used on the upper lashes just a little bit on the lower lashes as well there we go I think I just need a little blend right in there no more colour but just where I sort of applied that concealer just to make sure that it's blending in and then also just let's just drag that colour like right through the brows I think I'm done I think I'm really happy with how that's turned out I love this palette let me zoom you out before I start rambling so like I say this is the finished look it's so smoky and so deep I don't feel like I feel I feel like if I was making this palette let's let's go into that 
I feel like I would swap one of these shades, one of these purples that I said were very, very similar. I would swap for like an emerald. I would dial down the depth a little bit on that teal shade. I would maybe try and include just one more light shimmer because I feel like the shimmers are very, very dark, which is fine if you are including it in a collection with this one but if you are looking at this by itself and if you are my sort of skin tone this obviously leans very very dark and very smoky which is fine you know what you are getting when you look at a colour story like this however I am thinking I don't necessarily know how I would use these shimmers or a lot of these shimmers for an everyday. These ones, these ones in the little palette, easy peasy. Lemon is squeezy. But these shimmers, a lot of them, I don't know how I would incorporate that into an everyday look. I will, of course, keep on playing. <laughs> of course I will keep on playing. And me and Cole have already said that we're going to be doing a collab palette bingo again so if you want to see a completely randomized look with the shades in this palette subscribe because that will be coming very very soon um but i mean i am thrilled with how this has turned out i love these like tealy turquoisey blue shades with purple i think that they are beautiful and i could create a lot more glam looks with this it's just how does this go into an everyday for me. Do you have this palette? Did you pick it up when it launched? As I'm filming this, it was yesterday. <laughs> I don't know when you're seeing this, um, but what do you think? What do you think of this colour story? Does this trouble you if you look at this colour story and what would you do for an everyday sort of a look? I would absolutely love to hear what your thoughts are on this palette and this look. Please be kind. <laughs> so I would love to hear what your thoughts are if you have made it to the very, very end of this video. I want to say a massive, massive thank you to you. Thank you ever so much for watching. Right to the end of this video, I would really, really appreciate it if you would give this video a big thumbs up. It really, really does help me out ever so much. And if you want to see more ramblings from me, you can subscribe down below. Like I say, I'm posting every single day in the month of October. So there's so much more content here for you to be watching but until next time thank you ever so much for watching bye